Are you schlogging your nog all alone? <laughs> no way. I'm with my bros! Looking good, gentlemen. Save some pussy for the rest of us. I'm sensitive. <laughs> so this place, you'll see it a lot on my Instagram story, is my manager Jay's studio. He was a founding member of a really sick hardcore band called Defeater back in the day. And he basically lets us use his studio because he manages me. I've had a lot of memories here over the last couple years. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. Most mornings I wake up depressed, grab my phone on TikTok for about an hour and then take my meds. Most people I meet, I don't like it. I bite and I bleed and I hate everything. And I know. First day on the road. We're still working. We're grinding. Just working hard. I've been conflicted about whether to Working hard to please you. I feel like Michael Patrick Porkins could win it even without the moral. Because I can every day tell me. <laughs> Please replace me as fucking singer. We just made a quick pit stop at the gas station. Um, we all got really cool ass fucking sunglasses. So I feel fast, like real fast. I think we're gonna get there faster now. Yeah, I think I we won't be late. I just minted my body as an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't worry about it. Dude. Oh sorry, I forgot Alex, guys. Oh, yeah, shit. don't worry about Fuck. it, dude. I'll no, just no. yeah. No, your it's glasses fine. are cool too. Happy Thanks, man. Thanks. To you. Happy birthday to you. It's not his birthday. We have our first show tomorrow uh, in. Sure. Where are we? Detroit. Detroit. Feeling like fucking Eminem, baby. Palms are sweaty. Mom spaghetti. Uh, plan. Look what I'm planning. The man is in the. And I'm tired. You see, ladies, it's important to stay fit on your journey. Push yourself, you know. It's when I told you that Jason was like Jared Leto. I wasn't fucking kidding. First show, Detroit. Very excited. Kind of want to fucking throw up, but uh, <laughs> I'm good. Got some friends out here. Yeah. Hey, Could you please show me what you showed me? Yeah. I'm your mystery girl, and I got your tattoo, and you posted it on your Instagram yeah. story. Oh my god. That's so nice. That's so sweet. I love you guys. So we got some really cool merch here. I kind of designed it myself. One says, I love goth girls. I got a skull, moon, crop tops, handmade. Cost me $6,000. Yeah, that was perfect, dude. Thank you. Just put your tongue on. Thank you. Here we go, guys. This is our first show, so obviously I'm pretty stoked. Um, you guys were really cool. Like, people were wooing and shit, even just for me walking on stage. Kind of reminded me of that SpongeBob episode where he's, like, cleaning the stage and people are just cheering. Um, you also kept calling out very nice compliments at me, like, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, as you can hear right there. Watch this. Hey, can you guys say what's up? You're all fucking beautiful! Not me! This was my first tour ever, and I can't believe that I got this opportunity to just be on stage and express myself. Now, I'm still a very, very small artist, and this experience is extremely humbling, but I don't care about any of that shit. I don't care about the sides or whatever. All I care about is that I get to see you guys and connect with you in real life on the road. So for that, all I have to say truly is just thank you. I'll see you soon. A unicorn backpack?